Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. I'm glad to see very active participation of students on the channel. There has been request from some students to learn from me. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. We can have one-on-one -on -one Zoom classes. That should help. Thank you once again for watching my videos and learning from me. Here is a very important question shared by one of our students. It is based on vectors. The question is, the three medians of triangle PQR meet at a common point G. The point G divides each median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Prove that GP plus GQ plus GR equals to 0. The medians intersect at a common point, and this point is called centroid, correct? So here is a diagram, and we know that the common point is centroid. And there are a few very important properties. One of them is mentioned here that the centroid actually divides each median in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So that is given to us. Perfect. This is given to us. We now have to prove that the sum, which is G2P, so the vector sum, G2P plus G2Q plus G2R, is actually equal to 0. That is what we have to prove in this particular question. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So my approach is that from the given diagram, let me label another point which I label as O, the median from Q to PR. So I've already written here that this ratio is 2 is to 1, that is to say that the distance from Q to G and G to O is 2 is to 1. Now let's try to prove that the sum of GP plus GQ plus GR is equal to 0. That is what we have to do. So what we can do is that we can begin from GP plus GQ plus GR and write these vectors as combination of vectors. So if I see G2P is there and then GQ, so G2Q is this side, right? So if I could write G to Q as twice O to G, correct? So let me rewrite this as equal to G to P plus G Q is twice O to G. Now the vectors when they have the same direction, then the magnitude is a scalar product. And therefore, since the ratio is 2 is to 1, O to G is half of G to Q. So it can be written as 2 times O G. Clear? Now, let's maintain the other vectors as such. Now let's look into O to G. O to G can be written as a vector sum of OR and 
RG, right? So we are going to write OG as vector sum of OR to RG. plus gr. We'll take one little step at a time. Now, O2r is along pr and that is a midpoint. Therefore, these two sides are equal. The ratio is 1 is to 1. So, if I open the bracket, which is gp plus 2 times or plus 2 times Rg plus Gr. This term, which is 2 times Or. So, Or 2 times can be written as P2R, correct? So, we can write this as Gp plus P2R plus 2RG. Now, 2RG and GR. I could write this also in terms of GR negating the sign. Since when the direction of the vector reverses, it becomes a negative vector. So, I am replacing this with negative 2 times GR. Does make sense? And we have here the vector GR. Let's look into the combination GP to PR. So, GPPR means GR. You get the idea, right? So, this is equal to GR. GPPR. So, you can see the, the alignment and also write what the net will be. Now, look at the diagram. G to P and P to R. So, if you follow this path g to p and then p to r you land at g to r do you see that so from g it is r that is what i've written here and that is how we should visualize it so it is gr and we already have here minus 2 gr plus gr now what is that equal to well gr and gr is 2 gr right so i could write this as 2 gr minus 2 gr and that is indeed equal to 0 and that is what we wanted to prove do you see that so that is how you can actually prove this so let's go through this solution once again so as i was saying let us take o as the midpoint of pr as shown here in that case gp to gq plus gr will be equal to what so we can write gq as sum of g to q which is 2 times o to g right so we have written as 2 og and now og has been written as combination of or and RG. Do you see that? So, that is the combination. Open the bracket and then we get 2 OR and 2 RG. Twice OR means what? Twice O to R means P to R, correct? Twice OR means P to R and therefore that has been replaced by PR. On the other hand, we reverse the direction of the vector Rg, wrote it as Gr with a negative sign. Now, the combination of Gp and Pr is Gr. So, we have 2 Grs minus 2 Gr, which will give us 0. So, I hope that makes absolute sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. You can always contact me on the email address to learn from me. Thanks for your support and contributions.
all the best